Hello friends. Now let us try to learn the cardiac cycle and the phases of cardiac cycle in detail. Now, as we have discussed, the cardiac cycle is of 0.8 second, in which the 0.1 second is the atrial systole, 0.7 second is the atrial diastole, and the 0.3 second of ventricular systole and 0.5 second of ventricular diastole. Now, what I have drawn here is a clock of 0.8 second, which starts with point which starts with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.8. So this is a cardiac cycle duration of 0 0.1 to 0 0.8 seconds. Now each of this each of this phase can be essentially divided and their overlapping can be visualized. Now the inner circle will indicate the atrial events and the outer circle will indicate the ventricular events. The inner circle consists of atrial systole, atrial diastole, 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 atrial diastole. As we can see, atrial systole is of only 0.1 second and atrial diastole is of 0.7 seconds. So the inner circle indicates timing of atria. Now the outer circle will indicate the timing of ventricle. The ventricle systole after atrial systole. So the moment atrial systole gets over, we have ventricle systole and ventricle systole of 0.3 seconds. So ventricle systole, ventricle systole and ventricle systole. Whereas ventricle systole is remaining for 0.5 seconds. So ventricle diastole, ventricle diastole, ventricle diastole, ventricle diastole and ventricle diastole. Now, few things can be very clear with this cardiac cycle graph or you can see the diagram. First thing, how much percentage of ventricular filling occurs passively? If you can read the diagram properly, you will be able to answer how much percentage of ventricular filling occurs passively. And if I could create an MCQ, it will be like 40%, 50%, 60%, 80%. The answer is in front of you. The atrial diastole and ventricle diastole are common at many places. This, 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 this. So there are four places out of five phases of ventricle diastole. At four phases, the ventricle diastole and atrial diastole are in common. It means both the chamber that is ventricle and atria they are relaxing but still the blood is flowing so 80 percent of ventricular filling 80 percent of ventricular filling is passive now one more thing what percentage of ventricular diastole or ventricular filling is active now of course it's last part that is 20 percent the last 20 percent is ventricular filling which occurs because of atrial systole. In which condition will this last 20% active filling will play a significant role? This plays a very significant role in increase heart rate or decrease cardiac cycle duration because as the heart rate increases the diastole time will keep on decreasing so the active filling will keep on increasing. So the 20% is at resting condition but this may increase to 40 to 50 to 60 percent under active conditions or as you can say increased heart rate. Now let us give the each of the phases the uh, uh, identity or try to understand each phase in detail. The ventricle stole is of 0.3 seconds. So the first phase in ventricle stole is isovolumetric contraction. Isovolumetric contraction. Now what do you mean by isometric contraction? See, when atria contraction overs, when atria systole overs, the blood from atria goes to the ventricles. So atrial systole is over, ventricle will start going to the systole. The moment ventricle starts contracting, the moment ventricle starts contracting, the pressure in the ventricle increases and this pressure causes blood to move back. This blood which tries to move back, it closes the AV valve. Because of this, the AV valve is closed and ventricles they become a closed chamber. So AV valve is closed and the aortic valve has not yet opened. 
Since both the valves are closed and ventricles are contracting as a closed chamber called as isovolumetric contraction. And the advantage is this leads to a rapid and a tremendous increase in the pressure. The moment ventricle pressure increases beyond aortic pressure, the aortic valve open and there is a rapid ejection phase. Blood rapidly moves from ventricles into the aorta called as rapid ejection phase. Since the blood moves from ventricle to the aorta, so the pressure decreases a little bit but not as much as it has to be. So initially the blood goes rapidly and then the blood goes slowly. So initially there is a rapid ejection phase and then there is a slow ejection phase. The amount of blood remains in the ventricles after slow ejection phase is end systolic volume. The amount of blood remain in the ventricles after slow ejection phase is known as end systolic volume. Please keep this in mind because there are MCQs on end systolic volume and end diastolic volume. Okay. Now the moment blood has pushed or blood has moved from ventricles into the aorta, the ventricle systole gets over. Now ventricle diastole starts. The ventricle diastole is of 0.5 seconds and the phases are protodiastole, isovolumetric relaxation, rap first rapid filling phase, diastasis or slow filling phase and the last rapid filling phase. Now as you can see the last rapid filling phase of ventricle diastole it is coinciding with the atrial systole. Okay. So the last part of ventricle filling is active. Protodiastole. The moment ventricle systole gets over ventricle they start going into diastole and during diastole the ventricular pressure starts decreasing. The moment ventricles start going under diastole, the pressure in the aorta has increased. This increased aortic pressure has caused the movement of backflow of the blood. This backflow of the blood from the aorta causes the closure of aortic valve. So aortic valve closes causing second heart sound whereas AV valve closure causes first heart sound. Okay, so isovolumetric contraction is an it starts with first heart sound whereas isovolumetric relaxation starts with second heart sound. The in protodiastole the aortic valve closes causing second heart sound. So both the valve are closed because aortic valve is also closed and the AV valve has not yet opened and ventricles are relaxing as a closed chamber. Because of this there is no change in a volume but tremendous decrease in a pressure. So during isovolumetric relaxation the pressure in the ventricle decreases significantly. The, at the end of isovolumetric relaxation, the pressure of the ventricle is far more less as compared to atrial pressure. So the AV valves open and blood rapidly jumps from atria to ventricles. Blood rapidly jumps from atria to ventricles causing third heart sound. This third heart sound is because of the movement of the blood from atria to ventricles. The blood goes so rapidly that it strikes on the walls of the ventricles causing third heart sound in first rapid filling phase. Now the moment blood has filled in the ventricles from the atria, the pressure difference has decreased but still the blood keeps on moving from atria to ventricles slowly called as slow filling phase or diastasis. Okay. Now one significant feature of diastasis is that as the heart rate increases, the cardiac cycle duration decreases. So if the cardiac cycle duration decreases, which of the phase is the first one to lose? Which of the phase is the first one to lose? The diastasis is the phase which is first to lose in increased cardiac uh, heart rate or in decreased cardiac cycle duration. Now the moment diastasis gets over, after this phase the ventricles are still under diastole but the atria contract and the contraction of the atria causes a last rapid filling phase and also fourth heart sound. So there are four heart sounds. First heart sound because of AV valve closure during isovolumetric contraction. Second heart sound during isovolumetric relaxation in protodiastole. And third heart sound because of the first rapid filling phase because of the movement of the blood. And the last fourth heart sound is because of the contraction of the atrial muscles. So these are the four heart sound and the cardiac cycle duration. Now, this 
has to be supported with some more things. This cardiac cycle is also very well explained in pressure volume loop curve, which will be in our next video. So this is cardiac and thank you.